And finally, I wanted to just talk uh, briefly about the traffic issue. It was brought up, um, I don't know about the Roosevelt meeting, I wasn't there, but it was brought up in the Citerion. And I have not heard, to my way of thinking, an, a satisfactory or a, a satisfying answer to what will happen with the traffic problems in the South End. Um, I know that uh, there's going to be, there would be a study done uh, on the traffic uh, pattern if this referendum passes, but we'll be voting blindly. We won't know. Uh, what the studies will reveal after the referendum is passed, if it is. Uh, and I'm reading right from the brochure that was handed out uh, to us this evening. Um, if the referendum passes, um, there will be comprehensive studies to evaluate the impacts of the waterfront destination resort casino on the city's number one traffic, public transportation infrastructure, also, utility infrastructure, public safety, economy, including schools and housing impacts. We don't know what's going to happen in the neighborhoods in the immediate area. Um, and construction impact. So we're voting, however you feel about it, on what might be, not what we know will be or will not be. <clears throat> Route 18 was constructed and actually remains and we don't like to use this word, but it's a, it's a fact, is what's called a limited access highway. It is two full highway lanes heading north and two full highway lanes heading south. All of the redesign of Route 18 to provide addition, additional signalized intersections at Elm and Walnut Street have not changed that fact. They have made it much easier for people to cross that limited access highway but have not reduced the car capacity of that limited access highway. It's important to know that over the past 12 years, while Route 18, as many of us know, when are they ever gonna do Route 18? It took forever. Um, during that period of time of study, from 10% to 25% design, there were two major projects envisioned for that particular site. One of the projects, some folks may remember, was called the Oceanarium Project, right? The second project in the early days was the potential of a casino, of a casino on that site. It's important to understand that through the entire planning process for Route 18, that something of that scale would likely go on that site, and Route 18, in terms of capacity, was designed to make sure that it could handle that. Okay, that's, that's simply a fact. The specific access to the site, meaning how do you turn off Route 18 and get into the Cannon Street site, most likely from the Pine Street area uh, intersection, that part does actually need to be designed. It does need to be detailed. Um, and that has been conceptually designed, but not taken to detail. Um, those are the things that absolutely will be done, that, that will be studied. There will be peer review to make sure that just because uh, KG's engineers and planners say, we think this is the best alternative, there will be other folks that take a look at that and say, yes, that makes sense, or that needs to be adjusted here and there. But that's just, that's just the point about, about Route 18 in terms of capacity and its ability to handle large, large uh, volumes of traffic moving north and south onto the Cannon Street site. I'll let you. Here's one really important uh, point for people to keep in mind about the process. So Massachusetts passed a, a gaming statute that is arguably the most rigorous, that provides the highest scrutiny, of projects of any of the United States. And so when it comes to all the, the items that you've raised, so quality of the jobs, the traffic issues, whether those are being mitigated sufficiently, these are all things that um, I, I, I'm firmly convinced, I, I happen to agree with it, that they are addressed in the, uh, in the host community agreement, but there's also the next layer of review, which is very serious, and that's the Gaming Commission. The Gaming Commission, um, as they have shown in the process in Western Mass, and in Boston, uh, and in Plainville, uh, look at every last detail to make sure that people aren't getting screwed out of benefits, that, that traffic will not be unbearable, that, uh, that we won't have, you know, a maximum security looking facility at which people are supposed to gamble. So these, so these are all things, I mean, 
So uh, don't take my word for it. Matt. You should look at, uh, go back and look at the record, go on the MGC's website, so that you can get a feel for just how rigorous the scrutiny is. Uh, I am satisfied for the mayor of this city and somebody who spent an awful lot of time delving into these details and others that um, were covered. That, that to begin with Catherine and the traffic, if she's ever been to Foxwood, a majority of the ride in is a country road, two lanes, and I've never waited in traffic. People come and go at different times. It's not like a surge all at once. And a good, good part of that drive is a country road with just two lanes, and I've never had a problem. You know, I hope for a little traffic downtown. I really do. I'd like to get stuck in traffic a little more. Uh, and I think the businesses would too, because when you get stuck in traffic sometimes, you know what? That means people are going somewhere. And maybe they'll be spending more time. Listen, I'm doing this selfishly. I'm a lawyer. My practice is downtown. I hope he succeeds. You know why? Because businesses, I hope, succeed. And businesses are going to need more legal services. Who does that help? Helps me. Okay? But all along that chain, people get helped. Yeah, no. Route 18 is actually under capacity right now. Of course it is. It's, it's not, it's, it's well under the amount of traffic it can handle. Secondly, as I, as I said at the Zyterian when Catherine asked, and others asked the similar traffic question, and Derek did as well, the, the reason that you don't see hordes of employees, uh, which is the vast number of people that are always going to see of thousands of employees, all seem to be pouring out at once or coming in at once, like a noon whistle right. or an after work whistle, is the shift to all static, right. you know, from 4 a.m., noon, right. et cetera. Right, they're all coming and going. Right, so you don't, have, you don't have like the factory whistle going off where, where the place simply empties out of 3,000 people at 5 p.m. the way the right. factory went when it shuts right. down. So that's going to prevent that kind of kind of horrific peaks and valleys that you would see. And as I said when we were in the sixth ward, it's going to prevent the, the, what, the, what the biggest concern there was, was the inability to get home for dinner <laughs> driving down Route 18, that there would be a huge dinner, uh, dinner traffic glut on Route 18, which won't happen because the employees don't all I've never had time. traffic, and I've gone more than once. I mean, with two lanes, just well, this is a better this is a better road than the one that's lost right, by exactly. far. 